I think we should own that shuttle. I think. I can build us a bomb. I'd like to say, technically, Don't there's a bomb. I didn't say it was ours. Don't have it in your inventory. I will build us a bomb if it comes to that. He just, the Admiral is just, like, looking at Von Aker and, like, pulls up the schematics of the power station and is just like, I'm uh, sure uh, you can work with something. Work it out. There's several thousand uh, rounds uh, of this... heavy machine gun ammunition in the underground bunkers oh. of the power station. I have one question for you. Do you know if the auto turns can be fired and operated manually? Yes, they can be, if you need to. Fantastic. I don't know why you would. The software is probably better than any human. Well, I don't know. Let's say but that... He starts, he starts going through like else. how it's all proprietary software written by his company and sold to the government. He's like, yeah, we do all the licensing work. All those turrets are <clears throat> Archon's grip standard. Oh, Excellent. since you know so much about that, then, do you happen to have a back door that we can use to get in if we need to change some stuff? He's like, absolutely not. What look stuff would you thing. need to change on our standard? Don't worry don't about it, it sir. I, I'm sure it will not be an issue whatsoever. <laughs> well, what if I get inside? I don't inside think he can it? add any more Alka-Seltzers to his water. I, uh, I'm pretty I sure it's, like, alka seltzer out. So I, uh, since I, since I have the data slab open this entire time, um, I'm going to send uh, uh, Mako a message on Facebook real fast that says, if we need a back door, I'll make one. All right, when I get that message, the tone comes up, I like big butts and I can't, I like, like, it's like super obnoxious and loud. And I was like, hold on, I got a message. And I open it up and I'm like, boop. I was like, and I have to put send, my... send me a message when I'm standing right next to you. Can I put my two cents in? God. I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to be drinking that much alka I'm just He's saying a doctor, as a doctor. <laughs> as a doctor. As a doctor. Oh, <laughs> yeah. uh, shit. We hired him because he's a doctor. Exactly. He has a real medical degree. <laughs> I kind of coughed a little bit on that one. He doesn't have a real medical degree, actually. <laughs> Why you gotta give away my secret, Arthur? Well, I think he would know they hired you. You can't just be. Would like, they really I've know? I've got a real fake medical degree. I never said it was. Someone fake. literally I... is like, "Well, we're hiring you to be the team medic. Are you he a doctor?" He may or may not yes have no. been the only person in the line, and so we may or may not have checked his credentials all that closely. Flashback: really? so We're hiring like, Tom. Hey, it's the exact same scenario. I someone who's a medic. And then they're like, okay, I'm going to sign up. I don't know anything about medicking, but at least it's a job. I have to say, I have a doctorate in uh, medical vet. technology. No, you have a doctorate in pet vet. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Sciences. <laughs> Which, by the way, I'm taking a quiz right now to try to get my real doctorates, and I'm waiting for Archer to come up for rules for that. No. See? I try to do something cool. No. Yeah, no. Spends the next seven years getting his doctorate so that he can actually be a proper doctor. Are you doc kidding me? We've done all this mission briefing has taken almost an hour. <laughs> oh, very well. Let's get on with it then. <laughs> do you have any further questions or distractions? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes. Why is this taking so long? Wow. I think at that point he like actually is just like shaking his fist. <laughs> he he goes from like having a red face to having a white face and just gripping the edge of a nearby chair. You like see the metal denting at one point. <laughs> Jefferson gets up to leave the room at this point. Good. We cut forward to Stops, two days later when you're around. about to drop. All right. Did you guys have anything you wanted to buy before you begin your high-speed run at the planet? Yeah. Uh, Jeff needs armor, I think. That's about it. No, I went ahead and added that to my okay. starting. You don't want weapons, ammo, medical supplies? Um, I will get another 20 rounds for the mag pistol, I think. Given I have zero skill Don't in lose combat, that thing, Jefferson. I'm I know, Mako, right? Mako. God damn it. Your name is Jefferson. I'm Mako. I know you forget when you get angry, but relax. 
Dr. Brother Shy told you that if you want to ha- stop your heart from getting worse, you need to calm down. Yeah, I have no combat skills, therefore I have no weapons. Excellent. Um, Arthur? Yep. Uh, what is the sniper rifle? It's a sniper rifle. It's just literally sniper rifle, but you said it had like a gravity well or something like that in there, right? Uh, yeah, it had like a plus one to hit because it had the uh, gravitational assist. It had gravitronics to like All help. Right, so it's got a plus aim. one? Yep. See, I will say this from playing Traveler. I have learned that if you don't have a vac suit, you're playing the game wrong. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. Get yourself a vac suit. <laughs> you also, get a vac suit. Yeah. That, that is literally the first thing on my list. Vac suit. Right. Yeah, I like yeah. the... Okay, I'm back. What type say... of ammunition does the uh, sniper rifle take? Just generic ammunition? Oh. Okay, I'm ready like to go. Say, like to say, my background, I have three degrees. It just happened, and three of those aren't doctorates in medical. You don't have to explain yourself. We hired you because you're a well-versed doctor. See? He appreciates me. But apparently he never checked if you had a medical license. Doesn't matter. He can heal people. You can with call yourself a medic. You just can't call yourself a doctor. I doctor. am a doc. When doc- I hired him, I didn't check his credentials of that course. close. Of course. He has a doctorate in, like, English. I think. So we can't <laughs> I'm a doctor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I'm a doctor in English. <laughs> Medical tech, technology, and a psychologist, but none of that. <laughs> and that's so, it. So here Tell we are on this high speed run hurts. on the planet. Yeah. Yeah. The ship starts shaking, you know, from atmospheric reentry. The pilot, like, leans back. He's like, You guys need anything before I drop you off? I turn to Jefferson and I say, I'm so excited about the paint job on the ship. <laughs> Why did we take this job after all? The pilots like the paint job on this ship. He's no, our ship. Completely shit. white. Our no, ship. the shark. He's, He's like, if you have your shark. own ship, why are you on this one? Because we don't know how to drive it yet. Well, that's pretty reasonable, actually. <laughs> I had to go to school for six years. Like six so, years. So here's so, the thing. So He's just so you a know, as you guys, like you can see out the front window, there's this massive space battle going on with like fighters, like zooming past your shuttle. There's like a space station that's firing on the planet, and like you guys are are going straight into it, and the pilot's like flying with one hand, looking back at you. I, I, I just like to point out at this point that I do have pilot spacecraft. So does Jefferson. And. uh... <laughs> And I'm grabbing the survival kit from the ship before I leave. Mako is just sitting there, just like smoking a Bronco in the back of the plane. Oh, you your Broncos. <laughs> the pilot sees you grab the survival kit. He's like, hey, what the fuck, man? That's mine. That's government yeah. property. Put it back. Doc, steal his shit. Get, what are you doing? Give it back. Again. It may come in handy planet side. Oh, I just say I have one already. FYI. It never hurts to have another. Good point. He's like, make sure if you're going to steal my shit to sign the sign-out sheet. Where Where's is it? The, where's it's the right sign next out to sheet. the damn kid. He, like, points to it. There's Jefferson literally, like, will, like, crawl over the sign walk sheet. To it. Like, hanging onto all the stuff at the top. You're, like, you're, like trying to scribble your name, but it's, like, bumpy. And you're, like, I just put, <laughs> it's yeah. literally an electronic thing. I just, thing. Put, you just put your, like, thumb pad. Well, <laughs> Jefferson, like, goes over and realize. Tries to sign it for a moment, realizes it's a thumb pad, then after like three attempts fumbling around, hits the thumb pad. Like, as we zo- zoom out of the ship while he's like fumbling around trying to do it, like a fighter collides with another fighter behind the ship. You see like some patrol boat that's not even got a spike drive, it's just got like rocket engines, just like, <laughs> like chumming through the space, just like guns everywhere, shooting bullets. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally the crappiest space battle you've ever seen. It's like, <laughs> oh, you know what it looks like? It looks like the space battle from uh, the Firefly movie, Serenity. Yeah. Just imagine instead of, like, Alliance versus Reavers, it's basically Reavers versus Reavers. 
So it's just like a heap of junk in yeah, space. Yeah, it's a bunch of junk, like, like TL3 spaceships all engaging each other. Everyone's mm. having a fuck. Everyone doesn't, like, the pilots don't give a shit. Like, no one gives a shit. Like, they're, like, they're just doing it because, like, eventually they might kill someone, but they probably... Oh, no, they're definitely killing each other. That's a <laughs> thing that's 100% happening. <laughs> <coughs> That's so, uh, yeah, you enter the atmosphere, the pilot, like, hovers three meters above the landing pad, and, like, hits the big red button beside his console pad, and the back of the shuttle opens up, and, like, automatic ropes drop down, so you guys can slide down to the landing pad. He's like, good luck! Thank if you! you need me, call 1111! Nine. Nine! <laughs> Nine. Keeping it going. <laughs> All right. And then I, I jump out and I'm like, woo! I'm still smoking as I leave. I parachute down with one book. No, no, no. Here's what I, do. I put my cigarette out on his floor and stamp it out and then He's jump He's like, out. what the fuck, man? <laughs> I just got the ship detailed. It's a Can't fucking Can't hear thing. you! <laughs> the jump out. Uh. Like, before you jump out, Jefferson, he's like, seriously, fuck you guys! <laughs> I, uh, I pick up the Bronco and take it with me and litter. They litter on the planet. So instead you just of littering on his military spaceship, you yeah. litter on the military base. Got yep. it. Well, yep. <laughs> I'm trying to make him feel better. Yeah. Vaughn, I think you're, like, the last person on the ship. Yeah, I jump. You jump. <laughs> I, like, I, I assume not? you mean you're using the ropes, but you could just mean that you're like done with the game. So you jump to your death. <laughs> Let me know. Oh, which no, one. I use I use <laughs> I use the I use the rope, but it may still be jumping to my death. He gets right burn and dies. <laughs> <laughs> just to be clear, I hate pretty much. Point, so. It's like ah shit. Yeah. So the uh, the engines start to line, and the shuttle like lifts up and flies away. And from this angle, from the outside, the ship looks like the Delta Flyer from Star Trek Voyager. You know, it's like ah, a much Jefferson. We didn't get his fucking name. We could have hired that guy. It doesn't to do matter. what? To fly. I can fly. <laughs> but you can't fly with one hand while talking to people. Well, that's true. You need a plus one in your skill to do that. I only have a zero in my... He <laughs> said he has six years of f pli pilot flight school. Right, that's like why he's a better seconds. pilot. I, I, exactly. I, I like learned like on the fly on the last mission. Bad. I'm just saying that he's better. Yes, but, but, but we can't afford him right now. So, Vaughn, what are you doing <laughs> while the two of them argue on the landing pad? <laughs> I'm kind of looking around, I guess. Oh. Just my two cents in. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, fuck this okay, shit. Okay, so done. the I'm barracks for... is like a 1950s, you know, rounded metal building, post-war construction. So it's like a retro throwback to, like, the American age. The I, power I was... station is like four Tesla coils stuck on top of a pyramid. It uses fossil fuels. Can you believe that shit? Oh, it's a spike drive here. It's a spike drive generator. <laughs> oh, but, uh, I get that. I get that. I'm just being a dick. Don't worry about it. The uh, automatic weapon turrets are like just uh, cylindrical towers, and you can see that like they open up at the top, unfold, and put the gun out. But the guns are all currently stowed because they're not powered. And the armory is uh, locked, and with the power off, there's no way to unlock it without right. blowing open the door, which is like three feet of reinforced ferro-titanium. All right, uh, shall we go inside? I think so. We should investigate the power station first so that uh, 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 Von Aker and I can uh, determine what it's going to take to get those turrets up and running. Are you two going to be fighting for the smartest guy in the crew? Nope. Um, I already I, got it. <laughs> no. I, I would love to get the hurts up first, but uh, I think we need to call in reinforcements first. See if we can get our soldiers. Well, the guy said that the we can cats. only power one thing, right? So 
Yes, but that doesn't mean we have to power them both simultaneously. Don't you want to get in that armory and get those weapons and extra I ammo? Do. I do. Exactly, and we need to get in there for the radio. So, sounds like that's priority. But in either case, we still need to get the power supply up and working in order to do this. So let's exactly. go investigate what that's going to entail. Okay. All right, you go into the power station. It looks like a raccoon may have died in here. So the front door is, like, open, and inside there's wires out all over the place. Someone definitely looted this. Uh, it's missing a lot of circuit boards. There's, like, um, <clears throat> like human waste. Like, someone urinated in a corner somewhere, and it's still just, like, ugh, it looks fresh. Or at least she peed in the corner. <laughs> yeah, true. On a quick look over, it looks like it's going to take four hours of work, and you can restore one power to the power station. It's going to take tech post tech roll. What um, one unit of power will power what one turret? One turret or the barracks and armory. Yeah. Um, okay. <clears throat> do the barracks and the I armory. I can uh, the attempt a tech post tech roll. Can I, can you, can that, why don't really... you guys assist each other and then get a better roll? What is your tech post tech roll? Zero plus one int, so two d six plus one. So I don't know I'm that 2D6 the skill system two. for stars without numbers has an assist roll. Really? Yeah, you. Well, the way they've been doing it on Swan Song is one person yeah, makes the check. Yeah, they've been they've been butchering a lot of things on Swan Song, man. Okay, well then I guess one of you make a decision. So oh. it's int. So if you have plus one and yours, Jeff, and then you'd get a plus two, whatever. So, well, you fucking rock that. I, I'm, I'm at an eight. So the DC <laughs> was six. So you easily got it. Yay! Uh, over the next four hours, you'll restore one level of functionality of four to the generator. Do we have any data pad, like data internet here? Um, Probably not. We we have. Are the you turning on the barracks data. and armory? No, yes, no, 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 I'm, I'm like, I mean within out. the four hours that I'm talking about. Um, no, there's no GPS satellites on this okay. world. Okay, cool. I mean, they probably have a satellite network, but it's military, so you don't have any access to it. We're fucking military, what the hell? We're mercenaries. <laughs> um, that have a working for the Mako military. Is, <laughs> but Mako <laughs> is ex-military, as I recall. He, from a different <clears throat> planet. All the way across the sector. Well, I can only help really him so much. There. He's from the Viking world of Tyndarius. A space Viking. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm looking over skill checks. I really don't see anything about insist uh, assistance. Okay, well, that's, that's fine. We can continue with this. That's something they house ruled, like the ability to make jumps to empty sectors, which is something you can't normally do. Hmm, interesting. Or or the cybernetics can only be on one planet and the AI body and only on the brawl again. Hey, if you're salty about that, man, I understand. I am, man. They're down <laughs> for that shit. I, I, all I'm doing is posting facts. All I'm, what are you, what are you doing? I Well, okay, so Adam <clears throat> Cobell, I was like, Adam did a great job of railroading without looking like he's railroading. He did a magician's trick called a card force. When are, when all are they... options lead to the same area. He's He's been leading them to Cabral for a while. Ever since Prosper said, I'm going to go to Cabral, then Adam had Pi say, I need to go to Cabral. And the party ignored him. And Pi. So then it came up, uh, Mr. Sicarian wants uh, Cybernetics to fight Mr. Titan. Well, guess what? Turns out Cybernetics, despite being TL4, are only available on Cabral. And then we have a body for the mech AI that Pion is making. Well, it turns out, despite the fact that robots are super common in the future and do all sorts of work, you can only buy them on Cabral. And so everybody's like, no way, man. It's just Adam's doing it naturally. Yes, he's naturally adding rules to shift the story to Cabral. Which it's makes sense. It's perfect. It's a railroad. That doesn't look like a railroad, but it's there. And because I'm saying it, everyone's like downvoting the fuck out of me. Like it's I like, somehow revealed the dark like secret I, that Adam Cobell is a GM. 
I'm mad about it. I'm mad about it. Watch Swan Song, by the way. People I couldn't tell. Enjoy Stars Without Numbers. Go watch Swan Song. Anyway, Bon I don't Aker, know what happened. you're spending four hours getting the power station working. What are the rest of you doing? Well, Jefferson will assist him. Exploring! I'm with Jeff. I'm with uh, Mako then. Mako, you look like a young strapping young man beating his meat for the first time. Let's go. Do you just insinuate that I was beating my penis? <laughs> no. No, I didn't. You see, where I'm from, beating his meat actually refers to jacking off, like ejaculating with your hands. Which is weird that you said it, so. Anyway. Where are you exploring first? So, <laughs> while I'm working on this, I'm actually going to look at Jefferson and go, Jefferson, <laughs> would you mind going to find the merchants and maybe we can get a second unit of power out of this station? You've had a chance to look over and see what we might need. Jefferson? Yes. Because <clears throat> I know I can't send the other two to go find merchants. I'm going to go check out the um, lift in the landing pad. Awesome. Okay. The landing pad is literally just like a metal plate. Oh, if it's out. in the vehicle hangar, then... then okay, I'll you go to the vehicle hangar. So when you open the vehicle hangar up, uh, it's like, you know, you press a button and it opens. It's clear that the vehicle hangar has its own independent power source. Inside oh, is cool. a heavy load lifter. So it's like... Um, a massive version of a cargo dial, you know, something that could like lift something up. It's got its own generator on the cargo on the load lifter. Hmm. It oh, seems that's like neat. if you had someone to do work, you could hook this up to the power grid and provide another power. Or you could use it to lift all the scrap metal in the vehicle hangar and use it to as like walls. I'm gonna I'm gonna use it to make walls. Okay. Pause is always nice. Okay. All right. So you spend four hours reinforcing the uh, the walls. Can you make a vehicle operations check? Mm-hmm. Land-based? Because I yep. have that. It is a land-based. A land-based grab vehicle. Mm-hmm. TD6, straight up. Is it... um? Do I get any bonuses from it? Nope. Okay, like... Oh my god! Yeah, you fucking crush it. You do it in half the amount of time it would normally take. Sweet. I'm um, just sitting back and I reading I think the book. you probably, like, you're used to using this kind of technology on Tyndarius. Maybe, oh, yeah. it's, maybe it's a Tyndariusian load lifter, right? Like, it's a... Bottle XJ scalding. Alright, here's what happens. I open Tell the me. thing... It's like the door opens, and I walk in. I'm like, "Her, oh my God, I haven't seen one of these beauties in a very long time." I walk up to it. I pop the hood. I'm like, "Oh my God, it's got an ex, it's got an ex converter on it." Oh my God, the power intake goes straight into the exhaust. Oh my God, look at this. It's got a belt that's brand new. It's fantastic. I love it. Oh my God, I'm gonna move so much shit. <laughs> and then so I get in case it. you're watching at home, we've lost both Jim and Dom in the course of three minutes. Uh -huh. I'm back, okay, we baby. We got Dom back. Can't get so that's what me. happens. I'm yeah, like, Mako, you supercharge the engine. Yeah. Uh, you probably used to use these to kill womp rats back in the canyons, back home on your water planet. That yeah, has my no water way. planet. <laughs> I used to I used to kill uh, protesters in my uh, t shit lifter. Yeah, of course. Back you on use your my own lifter with no weapons on it to kill protesters as a mm -hmm. military policeman. Yep. I think more likely you probably learned, yep. like, as a young man, your job. I got it. I used to make walls back in the day as a military police. Ah, uh, of course. Now that makes perfect sense. Yeah. To block those protesters, man, those yep. pesky protesters. All right, yeah, you reinforce the area with one wall. One wall? Well, it's one unit of walls. Hmm. Yay. Yeah. It seems like you could get up to three unit of walls on this base. Wait a minute, is there a medical bay here? There All right, well, if I did it in there, half the time, is it reasonable to assume that I can do the other wall in half the time as well? Sure. Okay, you have two units of walls. 
Since I crushed that roll so fucking yeah. hard. Uh, uh, Brother Dr. Sai, what are you doing? Was there a medical bay here? Yes, it's in the barracks. Oh, I, I go check that out and see okay. what supplies we have there. It has zero supplies. It looks like someone came in and looted this one again. Huh. There's, Any, pro- there's uh, actually like a dead body in here lying on the surgery table. Like, there's just a dude whose chest is opened up, and, like, he's got the AED panels, like, on him. Like, they're just, someone just, like, tried to revive him, and then just left him there. Yeah. Hey, damn. Well, I start cleaning up, and, like, I got my own yeah, supplies. Clean up the rotting dead body, yeah. I use gloves. Or and just put face it mask. in the wall. Just put it in the wall. <laughs> And I use the vacuum thing to make sure I don't get contaminated. I have a suit. Yep. Does it look cleaner? Like a ashy sterile somewhat area? Yeah, you, are you spending... <laughs> it doesn't look sterile. Can you make a tech medical <laughs> roll? Hells yeah. We'll see Fresh if it, bro. you Fresh can it. recover this base. Okay, let me see. Two... Three, six... Plus two... Nine. Yeah, uh, I feel like there should be some mechanical benefit for this. I know that there's an item. There's like a medical item that gives you... Well, it's like... Uh, is it this game or well, is it a different game that gives you a bonus if you have a... If you have a clean medical room to do medical shit in? No, no I, I have there's the... like a med kit thing, though. I got three of them. You, just, you can't them? use that towards... Them. I'm not treating them. I'm just cleaning up the area to make it more sanitized. You know what I mean? Like, I have the med kits. I have three med kits, but... In case we have to heal Vaughn later, I like it. Yeah, this gives you another... Having this med bay clean and sterile will give you a plus one towards your tech medical checks in the future. Fuck yes. Yes. Go dumb. Plus four, baby. All right. So I think that's... uh, What was Jefferson doing? Jefferson's going to go try to track down the merch... Get a hold of the merchants. Okay, all right. Yeah, so you put out a radio call and... uh, you get an answer. Let me pull up my. I think we're gonna do the first like crossover thing here. So I, I was gonna say, is the radio back up before I finish with the? Yeah. So system? I think the radio's up. It's just the the reason you need the power to the barracks is to get the radio to punch through to the cadets. And so probably while you're like getting the power working, the radio is the first thing that gets working properly, right? Like, it's where all the power is going to. Sweet. At the end of the four hours, the armory will open. Um, let me pull up my documentation. I set up a number of corporations. Here we go. I, I could have also given Jefferson a power cell to try and jerry-rig the radio while I got the rest of the power. I up. mean, I, I suppose I could have used my compad wow, to try and send a signal. Skype is just being atrocious tonight. Yeah, it's really bad. Um... So you get uh, an answer while you're putting out a call for the nearby merchant caravan. Yeah. And um, the, v- uh, the video comes back. It's like a elderly elderly Japanese man with, like, white eyebrows and uh, dark black hair and, like, a white beard. So it's very strange looking. Uh, mm-hmm. But otherwise, he looks like Chow Yun Fat. The guy from Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, but not bald. Oh, you mean okay. from the Dragon Ball Z, the movie? Uh, was he in that? I'm pretty sure he was, yeah. Yeah, I never watched that. It looked fucking horrible in the trailer. It was horrible. <laughs> uh, he was like... Who knows? I am Hirohito Kamakashi of the Mikorin Gurovic Honda Corporation. What can I do for you, most honorable one? Um... My name is Jefferson Thorne. I am the CEO, COO, and CFO of the Archon Group. <laughs> That's uh, right. You got it with three. I remember now. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I'm here uh, trying to get this uh, 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 um, power station over it, and I give him the name of the base, uh, uh, up and functioning. And uh, unfortunately, I'm a little short on materials, and I need to find uh, myself. And I will list off all the having helped Vaughn what I needed. I will list that it's off. Literally, to him. just like a power cell. 
then I say, and I just need a a military-grade power cell. I don't suppose that would be something you might potentially have in your inventory, and if so, that we could work out some kind of arrangement for. Now, in the background, you hear this... (laughs) As as Mako is doing his thing, and then you hear... (laughs) 